In some, our current dietary guidelines are not trustworthy. They are based on weak evidence, and experts writing them have excluded nearly all the rigorous evidence to the contrary. USDA has been admonished by the National Academies of Sciences and encouraged to improve. And unfortunately, the guidelines are currently are not Thank you. on track. Comment to 29, the please. Of the past. Hit that subscribe button because you're about to see Nina Teicholz speaking at the 2020 Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee's second meeting in Washington, D.C. As you watch this clip, I want you to reflect for a moment on how people won't always remember you for what you said, but rather how you make them feel. Special thanks to Eric O'Gray for this commentary. Commenter 28. My name is Nina Teicholz. I'm a science journalist and author of the book, The Big Fat Surprise, the culmination of a nearly 10-year full-time investigation into the scientific basis for U.S. nutrition policy. The failures of science and policymaking that I discovered through that investigation compelled me to create the Nutrition Coalition, a nonprofit group dedicated to the public interest. It receives no industry support and is committed to ensuring that America's dietary guidelines are based on solid, rigorous evidence. In other words, that they are evidence-based and trustworthy. I have two main points today. First, the dietary guidelines issued by USDA and HHS are not based on the most rigorous evidence since this evidence has, since the launch of the guidelines, been ignored and or excluded. This fact is validated by an article I wrote in the BMJ, which was peer reviewed more than once. It established that the dietary guidelines for the past 35 years have ignored clinical trial evidence, largely funded by our government on more than 75,000 people, tested in experiments lasting up to 12 years. This data from clinical trials is considered the gold standard because it can uniquely demonstrate causality. Unfortunately, instead of informing our nation's nutrition policy, this gold standard evidence has been ignored. Why? One can only speculate, yet the fact that none of these trials could confirm the basic tenets of the dietary guidelines is indeed a factor. Multiple trials did not confirm that a diet restricted in fat or saturated fat could protect against diet-related diseases. More recently, trials have shown that the guidelines high level of carbohydrates is actually harmful for people with diet-related diseases. These bodies of evidence all imply that the guidelines needed to walk back some of its basic advice, yet the guideline experts ignored the evidence and carried on without change. During this time, rates of diet-related diseases have risen to epidemic proportions, now afflicting at least 60% of all Americans. Ignoring scientific evidence is not okay. In fact, the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine the first ever, did the first ever outside peer review of the dietary guidelines and said in 2017 that the process established in the guidelines was not using the best practices for conducting systematic reviews and, quote, lacked, un lacked scientific rigor, unquote. The academies advised that the USDA adopt one of the international standards for reviewing the science. USDA chose the GRADE standard. And this is my second point today. The co-founder of GRADE, distinguished professor Dr. Gordon Guyatt, who is one of the world's top experts in evidence-based medicine, recently submitted a comment, a public comment to USDA. His point was, you, USDA, are not following the standards of GRADE in fundamental ways. Most importantly, you are not making important distinctions between high and low quality evidence. Guyatt urged USDA not even to use the word GRADE because doing so would give the appearance of rigor where it did not exist. It would be illusory, he wrote. Further, he cautioned that if USDA were to continue without proper methods for evaluating the evidence, this would result in recommendations that are, quote, unlikely to be trustworthy, unquote. In some, our current dietary guidelines are not trustworthy. They are based on weak evidence, and experts writing them have excluded nearly all the rigorous evidence to the contrary. USDA has been admonished by the National Academies of Sciences and encouraged to improve. And unfortunately, the guidelines are currently are not Thank you. on track. Comment to 29, the please. Of the past.